See, the Food and Drug Administration, it's called FDA, you know, that standard is rigorous. And Ganoderma is used as a dietary and food supplement, but it has uh, a lot of, uh, lots of medicinal properties, which Dr. Ranjan detailed, so I'm not going to dwell on that again. So it is sold as food or dietary supplement, not as medicine, but it has medicinal properties, such as bitter gourd or um, on the other day, I was walking through uh, Walmart and I saw, I was uh, trying to buy some uh, over-the-counter medication. Then I saw turmeric capsules. What? You know what is turmeric means? Uh, the yellow stuff in Tamil they call manjal. You know, that they sell it in capsules and they take it. But what we do, we put in dal, the, and also in sambar, they, you know, you must have known that. Everything they put in curry, they put. Without anything, we do that. But let's say some 50 years back, if somebody, I mean, let's say when I was doing in, studying in school, somebody tells me, if you take turmeric, there's manjal, or you can, it's good for health. <laughs> you, you're a fool, I would say, you know that. Now, it has been substantiated with uh, research, accepted. And unfortunately, there's a controversy that a lot of people don't understand that uh, Americans uh, took that. Uh, now, the turmeric is not only grown in India, it's grown in all the tropical countries. It's not from India. But we failed to, even uh, this bitter gout, they have found a lot of uh, medicinal properties and there are lots of papers have been published, you know. I mean, if you like, I like bitter gout because the way in which my wife makes, I love it because I like it. So if you love it, it's good. Otherwise, nothing wrong in taking food. But can you take just like that or you want to take something with this has got a research background? So Ganoderma is the one thing I like it because DX and what they have done is they have done lots of research and as Ranjan was telling me some 7,000 papers have been published on that. So that means research methods or I, I strongly believe in research methods, you know. Yeah, I understand if you take um, turmeric, yeah, it's good. But tell me how much I have to take daily. That as if you cannot be taking just any amount, you know. So that should be some, what are the benefits it's going to produce? You have to tell us. And it has been correlated, turmeric as well as uh, the uh, bitter gourd. And so we have to, even what they call fenugreek. Uh, in Hindi they call methi. Um, in Tamil they call vandayam. That also they say it reduces blood pressure, I mean uh, blood sugar. Uh, but my father takes it, but I haven't read uh, an article about that. But uh, I, several places I have seen that uh, fenugreek or methi or vendium, it reduces uh, blood sugar level. Or rather it more than reduces, reducing blood sugar is not the cure. The sugar has to go to the cell to burn. That's the key. Let's say your car is, I mean, let's say you're driving a car. I don't know, you guys are driving the recent cars with fuel injectors. Uh, olden days we used to drive with the carburetor. Your car, uh, is a, your car carburetor is flooded. It means flooded gas. It cannot go. You need air. So what happens is in diabetes, the sugar, the reducing sugar is not the, the, the objective. The objective, the, the available sugar should go into the cell in order to burn and work. So some of the uh, food they do, and Ganoderma, I suppose it does, Okay, food supplements are uh, difficult to sell because you want something. You can tell that, you know, like, you know, if you become a member of this uh, multi-level marketing, you can buy this, you can buy cosmetics, you find, yeah, if you do some business, you see so much object in hand. Here, there is no object in hand, only a health. You perceive it. You don't perceive a good health until you become sick. Trust me, you don't. Because... When you fall sick, only then you know what is that. Until then, you don't realize that. And let's say your heart is pumping. Yeah, I know it's pumping somewhere. But if my heart's a problem, yeah, then I will know. I cannot climb stairs, then I know what's, what I have lost. Of course, with the age, it has to happen. And one of the reasons what is advocated is that you can take Ganoderma to postpone aging process and revitalize your uh, cells and other stuff. Yeah, this is what I said. 
good health is in, in my opinion is intangible yeah you can tell somebody uh, I, I mean if somebody looks young you can say but you don't know what is inside you know ask him to do some exercise or you know you walk you know it's all tough so you you see the uh, um, the good effects of you know the good effects of health only when you lose it until then you don't know this is definitely attributable to third world or even the developing world prevention of diseases and malnutrition prevention of diseases is important and malnutrition this has been really focused well in the United States and is going it also is going to come in other countries but now they are focusing more on the food as medicine and you'll be surprised to know that 15 percent of the population they believe in complementary and alternative medicine that is uh, there are several things like acupuncture, there are 16 um, complementary and uh, alternative medicine. And American, I mean, American doctors accept that. Like chiropractor, yeah, if your back is aching, why don't you go and see a chiropractor? He's, and, if, and also uh, the, um, uh, the, like the Ganoderma or um, acupuncture is all alternative medicine. On the other hand, for critical care, there is only one, to the best of my knowledge, allopathy. You know, let's say that you, you fracture it, you know, you have to go to your doctor. You cannot take something and then you get, you have to definitely, because this is an advanced science. But as he said, I mean, the uh, Ganoderma actually it acts on the body. The uh, allopathy medicine acts on the disease process. And let's say you have a heart attack, you have to go to critical care. I mean, well, Ganoderma, if you take, it may prevent, but once you get it, you'll have to take only critical care. Please keep that in mind. Uh, this is also the same problem. Anemia, malnutrition, decreased health standard. And it's much decreased uh, recent times. Uh, anemia, you know that most of the uh, women folk in India, they suffer from uh, chronic anemia. And those in villages, they have uh, hookworms, small pinworms, anemia. And they also don't consume enough food. I mean, enough, uh, you have to have several common, there are two kinds of anemia. I'm not going to detail all those things. But anemia means, that means uh, reduce oxygen load. That means you need oxygen to burn. So these things will be taken, but uh, he talked about the effects of Ganoderma and food supplements that it provides health uh, benefits, and uh, DXN uh, certainly uh, plays a role in that. Uh, this is one thing I think probably you also touched on that. Allopathy medicine, as I said, it acts on disease. In small doses, it's a drug. In large doses, you, you are killed. Tylenol or paracetamol or crocin is hepatotoxic. If you take more, let's say 500 milligrams, or you take five, or five grams, you know. Um, so what happens is that if you take 10, 20 times, your liver is gone. Hepatitis will fail it immediately because it just it cannot take it. Um, traditional medicine, like what you call uh, grandmother's uh, treatment, or uh, we did so several things without knowing what. And even the accent, I mean, the Ganoderma is one such thing, but it has been researched now. It's come out of the product, and the product is giving benefits. And that's what they say. Now you use it, experience, and then share that uh, experience with others. So um, I also write a blog. Um, uh, you may want to follow me, uh, but it may take after uh, couple of um, weeks uh, that uh, it's called uh, Dr. Shu, because that's my nickname. So, so I'll be taking your questions later, but um, so I'll um, allow uh, Dr. Ranganathan is going next, am I right? Yeah. Thank you very much for uh, listening to me patiently. Okay. Good, morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, DXN. Good morning. Yes. I am here before you because of DXN, because I am going to tell you, so far you have been hearing a lot of theory about DXN. Now I am going to give you practical aspect of DXN, what DXN has done to me. See, I was crippled with a disease 
called arthritis. It may be due to radiation arthritis. In the year uh, 2000, I have purchased one um, new machine called C-arm. A C-arm is a machine used to visualize the bones while operating. So I was the first person to uh, operate on bones at that, at that time, in 2000, using C-arm. So we have to stand before the C-arm for more than two hours, three hours, like that. So because of the regular basis, we have been doing three cases, four cases per day. I have to stand more than five to six hours with the, uh, by using the C-arm. So I have had severe radiation arthritis of my knee. So what is the final result of that? See, I became crippled. I was not able to walk. I was not able to sit. I was so much crippled, no? One day I started wondering what to do, how to look after my patient. I was thinking to buy a car, small car to go around the wards so that I can be able to make the rounds. So that was the state of my disease at that time. So I had an opportunity to meet Dr. Ranjan at that time because I had to go for uh, Madras for some other reason. So I met Dr. Ranjan. I told him, see, I cannot get down from the car. You have to help me. He asked, he wondered, why, what happened to you? Then I told him the story that I am crippled with severe arthritis, so I cannot walk. So immediately he uh, took me to another friend of mine and introduced DXN capsule. See? And I started taking DXN capsule from that day onwards, and around uh, 2000, I think. Huh? In the year 2000, I started taking DXN, two capsules per day. Then I started increasing the dose, uh, three, uh, six capsules per day like that. But you know, I tell you the history behind that. See, after taking DXN for three days, I had wonderful result. So I was not having any pain in my legs. I was able to sit, I was able to walk, I was able to climb up the stairs. I was wondering what happened to me, you know, so long I have been taking so much of allopathic medicine. You know? Every time I take allopathic medicine, night I used to get severe acid brass and I used to get severe uh, you know, burning sensation in the stomach and all those things. My sleep was very much disturbed. But after taking deaction, my pain vanished. At the same time, all the side effects also vanished. So I didn't have any side effect with the deaction. Capsule, Ganoderma. I took Ganoderma only first. So this Ganoderma, I have been using it for the past more than 20 years, or 12, 14 years. No side effects. I have to, even today, I have taken Ganoderma. And without this Ganoderma, I think I cannot walk. But other allopathic medicine, they do not act on my body. See, I approached orthopedic surgeons, you know, all my colleagues. They said, no, nothing uh, could be done to you. You have to undergo knee replacement. See, at that time only I got into connection with the DXN. So the DXN has protected me from knee replacement. So such a good drug <laughs> is given to you. So don't think DXN is an ordinary medicine. It's something given by the God. I think it is given by the God. The God is Professor Lim, who has invented this, you know. You all know about Professor Lim. So Professor Lim is the man who invented this uh, uh, RG and GL capsule, this Ganoderma, you know. So he has only, he is a Chinese uh, man who has graduated from uh, 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 Nagpur University. He is a B architect, uh, but he come, somehow got interested in this, uh, uh, this thing. Uh, fungus and uh, he cultured, I mean, cultured this and all those things and he found out this RG and GL and that is the one which is very much useful to us. So after using this on myself for many years, I have not uh, given to anybody. I was using myself and I have not told the secrecy also to others. So before that I, I have to be helped, you know, uh, somebody has to help me to get up from the chair to go to the, to go and to see the patients. All. Uh, everybody was started wondering why doctor, what has happened to doctor now and walking nicely and all those things. So I was using it for myself for five years and more than five years. Then I started using for my patients. You know, I started giving those patients who are coming with uh, severe arthritic pain and all those things. Most of the patients, they recovered very well. And also along with other drugs, analgesics, I used to give this and they all recovered. And uh, I started using this uh, and uh, gradually I started uh, attending some of the conferences along with Dr. Ranjan, then I came to know the good things about uh, this uh, Ganoderma. Then I started using for the allergy patients. You know, most of the children, no, they suffer from cold and rhinitis and all the cough, and that is a big botheration for all the mothers, you know. Child is all the time going on coughing, going on sneezing, 
Am I understand? Are you able to follow me? So that is the thing, you know. I started giving these capsules to the children also, small children, and uh, they, you know, in the moment I started, some of the people got immediate relief. Some people, uh, after using for a week or so, they had very good relief. So that is the anti-allergic property of the Ganoderma, which I've been talked about to you by Dr. Ranjan and other things. Huh? Okay, like that. You see, it has been used for many other cases. In uh, heart attack patients also, it is very much useful. Uh, I had patients who had severe heart attack, you know, and uh, they have been uh, advised uh, this uh, bypass surgery uh, in Madras Medical Mission. And uh, those people came to me, and I have given the medicine, you know, but in large quantities. And they have taken the medicine. After, say, about one month, they have got a complete relief. And likewise, the diabetic ulcer patients, a lot of diabetic ulcer patients come to me. I treat diabetes as well as the ulcer by using this Ganoderma and this Ganusi ointment. You see, it has got local action. The Ganusi ointment, you know, you must be all knowing about this Ganusi ointment and uh, Ganoderma. Using Ganusi and Ganoderma, I, I mean, Ganusi and Ganoderma, most of the diabetic ulcers are healed very well. See, with, which is not possible with other things. They have to undergo surgery. Either we have to cut or all those things. But with this, by using these drugs, I was able to save so many patients. Likewise, I have treated to, I have treated many patients and they were all doing very well. So what I, the message I want to tell you is, Ganoderma is a drug which can act from head to foot. It can act in any of the diseases. We do not know how it acts. But all those facts have been given by Dr. Ranjan. So many uh, uh, scientific facts have been given by them. And you can follow this Ganoderma and you can all use this Ganoderma. It is a drug which has come from uh, heaven. So you take it like that and you can use it for any disease, for anybody. It is acceptable to, acceptable to everybody. It doesn't have any side effects. Okay? You all follow me? Yes. Yeah, no, that's very important. Because you must understand, and also ladies, you know, it has got fantastic effect on the uterus. So they have very uh, severe problem like uh, white discharge, leucoria and other things, you know. It acts on the uterus and uh, they also have healthy uterus and they are very much protected from all those things. So Ganoderma plus uh, spinal nerve will act very nicely on these uh, diseases and they will become very well, you see. So like that, many other diseases, many ladies, many children have been benefited and uh, you can use boldly to anybody because it doesn't have any side effects. Side effect is the one thing which you have to be very much worried, we are all very much worried about with other drugs. See, but with Ganoderma, we don't have any side effects and it is a food supplement like, it is not a drug. You must understand that it is not a drug, it is a food supplement, you see. So the food supplement, it is uh, very useful. And it also acts as a drug. That is how it goes. So don't forget Ganoderma. Ganoderma to be used by all, by, for all diseases from head to foot. This Ganosi ointment is a wonderful ointment. It's a toothpaste that's coming out, but it can be used for everything, even for burns, all ulcers, ulcers in the throat, ulcers in the mouth, and ulcers in the foot. For all the diabetic ulcers also, you can use this Ganosi ointment. You know Ganosi ointment? Have you seen Ganosi paste? You must have seen, no? That can be used from head to foot for any disease, for any ulcer, okay? It cures very nicely. And if you even uh, I have had uh, distributors, you know, some of the agents say, Sir, I used to swallow some of the paste, you know, while this thing, I get cured of my ulcers, mouth ulcers. That's what they say. So, so much of uh, good thing it has got. So instead of using other paste, you can always use this. And this like uh, Ganoderma, coffee is available, tea is available. So once you get up in the morning, it is better that you face the Ganoderma. You just open your mouth and go and uh, uh, you face the Ganoderma and then see other things. It's such a good drug. You know, why I am telling is I am standing before you, it is because of DXN, not because of anything. It is because of the capsule, I was able to come from India to uh, Dubai. Is it not? Okay, so this is the DXN which has made me such a uh, young man like this, you know. <laughs> I call myself as young man, though I am 64 years old, I am classmate of Dr. Ranjan. It is because of DXN. So otherwise I would have been crippled. So I am a standing example before you for all these uh, drugs, for this Ganoderma. Okay, 
So, you can all consume, you can prescribe to anybody, you can prescribe to your neighbors, you can pr prescribe to your uh, um, uh, friends and wherever you meet anybody with disease, uh, some saying that this rhinitis and all those problems, diabetes, diabetes and I am also hypertensive and diabetes. I am taking this drug and my blood sugar level, everything is very low. Cholesterol level is low, blood sugar level is low. I was wondering why my blood sugar has come down so much. Huh? Uh, because of this uh, reaction, along with, I am also taking anti-diabetic drug and uh, along with reaction, it has done miracles, okay? So, you must all understand, you must all take this as your home message, okay? You must all use this drug, and I mean use this medicine as your food supplement and you must all benefit from this. That is how I am praying to the God that you must all uh, use reaction and get the benefit from reaction. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Doctor, for that wonderful extempore. We believe everything, we believed everything, except the fact that you are uh, 64 years old. <laughs> we cannot believe that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Dr. Ranjan definitely look older than you, even though you are classmates. <laughs> okay, jokes apart. Now, home match, the time for home match. We'll be departing for a Maghrib prayer break at, the, at 7 o'clock, but we will start the next session, and immediately after prayer break, we will finish the next session, then we'll be go for an interactive question and answer session, okay? So quickly, I'll introduce the next speaker. If I try to read out the entire profile, the prayer will be Esha. So I'll just uh, cut short the profile. MBBS, MCPS, Obstetrics, Gynecology, MCPS, ART King's College, London, ART Embryology from Australia, PGA, Postgraduate Award, Warwick, UK. Ex-director of so many hospitals. She's doing a lot of research and her mis mission is to do something better in prevention of apparently incurable diseases and to create awareness of health before losing it. To wind up the profile in a very short manner, I would like to announce that she has been acclaimed by the government of Pakistan as the wonder woman of Pakistan. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, let me take the pride, privilege, and pleasure to welcome Dr. Asma Munir. Can you hear me? Yes. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. That's it. That's the reaction morning. Assalamu alaikum. Namaste. Satsari akal. And a very good morning to all of my reaction family. Auz billahi min ash-shaitan rajeem. Bismillahi rahman rahim. Allahumma inni asaluka ilman nafiya namlul mutaqabbal amal rizqan tayyiban. This is a prayer for all of us. This is the theme of the action. I always say I believe and I think God has stated this theme to all of us through Quran. Uh, I don't have words for all the speakers, tremendous gems of the action. I welcome you on this part of the world. Thank you very much for coming and benefiting us with your beautiful thoughts and your research and your views and uh, experiences regarding DXN. People say that only two people in a crowd keep quiet. One who knows everything and two who doesn't know anything. So please, <laughs> please you have to be well awake because you have to understand you are in the universe of pearls, you know. A pearl of knowledge a diamond of behavior, a heaven of health. So you are in a holistic heaven of health given by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Only we are the tools. So the best thing, as Dr. Ranjan very well said, knowing is not enough. Knowledge is not everything. Application is the wisdom. But application without knowledge is lethal. You know what you mean by lethal? It's a murder. 
because you may apply things which you don't know. And for DXN, the message, whatever we are giving you today, should be well understood, well presented, well accepted, well applied, and well acknowledged. Okay? So this is the theme that you should take back home. So I'll have to... I have to be very quick because time for me is less. I think Bangmakri prayer is about to happen. Uh, next slide, please. Can I have this one? Yeah, sorry. For me, the theme for education is not to give you degrees. The education is to educate you so that you can be a better person tomorrow. Today, what is gone is gone. It should not be repeated. The mistakes that we do today should not happen tomorrow. So my objective for you today is, after this precious session of DXN, by the end of the day, you should be able to understand the need of health. There's a word. Heal. You will not heal when you don't care. And you are not aware, you will not care. So you have to have awareness to heal. A is equal to C. So that's what my objective is, to understand the importance and recognition what all of these senior experts, researchers are telling you. On behalf of that knowledge, you should be able to understand, to have, give importance to yourself and the best culprit, diet. Some people die to eat, some people eat to die. Right? We are eating to die. Time is gone for die to eat. But at the end of the day, you should have some value of the food which has more than food qualities. Okay? Let's come back to the crucial facts. When you are one day of conception, nobody say you are old. When you are born, you are one day old. So you start aging the day you are born. Agreed? Agreed? Get up. I want you to listen to what I'm saying. Okay? So you see, there's a very, very alarming situation in the world which is happening. This is 35 million people have Alzheimer's. What is Alzheimer's? You don't recognize people? You talk senseless? By the age you are 60, 70? No. I don't want to be aged of that sort. But the world statistics show that over 35 million people have Alzheimer's and over half of these cases can be prevented. See, the beauty lies there. You can prevent yourself to have Alzheimer's. Everybody has to go age, you know. You will be, inshallah, maybe 100 years if you are in DXN. You won't tell your age, please, okay? But then, with Alzheimer's, you also have, with the age, Parkinson's, dementia, you forget. Degenerative arthritis is very well already discussed. Bone density disorders, skin aging, vision loss, and heart diseases. You name it, we have it. From skin to, to brain, skin to toe, skin to heart. Reproductive health is, is a small part of your health. But you live, at least you live, live nicely. Then, allergies, uh, Dr. Ranjan has already well described and stressed, you cannot stress more upon the qualities and the properties of the Ganoderma, but why? Why do you need it? Because you cannot prevent things coming to you. You cannot prevent the bombardment of the aliens coming to your health. But you can have a shield around you. What I say, always I quote, always I quote a, 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 a rhyme from my father's poetry book. Ghar ko mazboot karo. Ghar ko mazboot karo, abr ko ilzam na do. If you understand Hindi. You make powerful, your, your house should be strong. Don't claim the clouds in the bad weather that they will come and hurt your home. Okay? Ghar ko mazboot karo, abr ko ilzam na do, munhadim kache makanat hua karte. You understand? 
The house who is broken is what which is weak. So the, the things that are coming to you are the weak things. To make you weak, you have to be strong. And above all, these allergies and the immune disorders, what we doctors say, when we don't understand, what is allergy? Virus, some virus has attacked you. Nobody should ask which virus it is, because we don't have time to investigate which virus it is. And we don't want to treat it, because it is not treatable. Allergies, you cannot treat. You have to leave allergen. There's a gin behind allergies, and you cannot take care of that gin. Right? You know what is the gin? A ghost.